folks, this is Margie Roy from 3dcuts.com and today I'm going to be doing the tutorial for the projects that are part of my Stacked Hearts series. I'm coming out with these for Valentine's Day of 2020 and there are three pieces to it all from similar files and a similar technique. Now we're going to do the Valentine that I made using the scraps from the wall decor piece. Before you start making this Valentine's card, be sure to go to my website at the address shown on the screen. There, I will put additional information about the types of cardstock I use, the glues I use, but also the sizing of the pieces in case you need them. For those of you that did not make the wall decor first, I have included a file that has just the hearts, if you want to cut out just the hearts and make this card. It's all included in the download. To begin, you need to have already made the wall decor piece and saved the hearts from the cutting. These are all of the different hearts and I just clipped them together to stay ordered or to stay organized. You will also need to cut a piece of red card stock that is 11 inches by five and a half inches. The envelope file is included in the download so you can make your own envelope to go with this card. Let's start with the card. Take the hearts and you're going to need four. There were six in the design. And we are going to glue these together in a stack. They are not centered. They are glued so that the points line up. And I'm going to put together all these stacks here. There, I've got four stacks with eight hearts of descending sizes in each stack. I will start with the, let's see, back heart. No glue gets put on that, but the next heart down does. I'm using art glitter glue that I have transferred into this container with a small tip. Um, there are many glues that would be appropriate for this project. You can even use a little Xyron uh, tool for putting glue on these. But I like the art glitter glue and so I'm going to use it. On the lineup of these, you line the points up just above the point with a bigger space at the top. And I'm paying careful attention to this center line here. I want it centered. And I'm going to continue doing that, putting glue on the back of the smaller heart for this entire stack of hearts and then doing it four times. There's my first stack of hearts glued together. I'm going to repeat this four more times. There, I have finished four stacks of eight hearts each for this card. The rest of these hearts are extra, save them for another project. The front of the card needs to be folded in half. I'm going to use my Martha Stewart folding table to do that. The fold line is right at five and a half inches. Fold this in half and crease. These hearts are going to be carefully positioned on here. I'm going to place them first, eyeball center on all of them. The important part is that all these little points point each other and these spaces be the same. 
You can measure if you want, but I didn't want to put little marks on my front. Let's see how I'm doing. Let's see, two and three quarters that way, two and three quarters to the center that way. Yeah, I'm pretty close there. Okay, I'm going to carefully take each one of these and glue them into place now. The reason I like using the Art Glitter Glue is that it gives me a second chance quickly. If it, my placement isn't perfect, I can reposition it just a little bit. With some of the other um, adhesive solutions, you don't have that. Okay, there we go. And the cover of the card is complete. This is a great design for using up scraps. On the inside, the download includes this Be My Valentine with all the letters cut out. Be careful on those E's, they get a little crooked. And again, this would be great to take my spray glue and just hit the back side of it, but my um, gluing station is out in the sunroom and it is winter time here in New England. It's much too cold for me to be out there doing gluing. So I am going to quickly use my art glitter glue here instead of setting up a spray booth. If I were making a lot of these, I would set up a spray booth to do it. But for a one-off, just using the art glitter glue, little dots around all the letters, being sure to get the insides as well. And again, this gets centered carefully. As you press it down, make sure that the centers of these are positioned properly, especially those E's. There. That is a great Valentine to go with the wall decor piece. The download does include the uh, cutting file for an envelope that will fit that card. Again, I'm going to use my Martha Stewart folding tray. And I'll need to line these up. From corner to corner here, you press you emboss a fold line and fold on that. Same on the other side. Same for the bottom. And the top. And I will apply glue to this edge. And this edge and fold those in. Then I will apply a small line of glue here and here. And there we go, a Valentine set to send. Happy Valentine's Day and happy crafting. This card file is part of the download group that includes three stacked heart projects. There is the wall decor 
uh, framed shadow box and two different cards. Check them all out. They each have their own tutorial. The addresses are shown here on the screen. Have fun crafting everyone. Thanks for watching.